G'day everyone, it's Doug Jackson from Doug'sWordClock.com. Um, today I'm going to just do a very quick video on the differences between the uh, normal clocks and the chaos clocks. Um, some people have been uh, expressing a desire to see some of the differences when the uh, kits are actually manufactured. So this is a chaos clock which I've made from um, a kit. So we see here that the first link the cell layout is different between this clock, we'll just double check that it's visible, yep, between this clock and the normal clock. Firstly, um, because of the random nature, the, the, the crossword nature of the uh, cells, you'll, you'll notice that the word, word layout's different. So I'll just give you a quick look here, um, regards to uh, baffle positioning. So. You can see the baffles are in different positions based on on the layout compared to the normal clock. Now, something to notice: we have a cr in the chaos template we have I T E I S. So here's the stencil. You can see I T E I S. Now, what we do here is this is the word it is and we we'll, we'll end up masking the E off. Uh, quite a few people have, have said that I'm potentially missing baffles for across the uh, E and I'll show you how we actually go about dealing with that shortly. Um, we'll en end up masking it but here is the baffle layout. Down there are the four minute LEDs. You'll need to expand those, those holes in the um, basic um, plate to approximately five millimeters to let those LEDs fit. I'll just show you the uh, wiring. Now firstly uh, it's probably worthwhile just removing this this power jack just to make it clearer. Dun -dun -dun. There we go. So you can see there are one, two, three, four minute LEDs. The cathodes or the negative connection are all connected together the anodes are connected via resistors and the five conductor cable which is just the cable that's in the uh, pack gets connected up here directly to the minutes connection so the first pin is the common and that goes down there there's the first pin, it's the common the second pin goes to the first LED third to the second, fourth to the third uh, fifth to the fourth so uh, pin one pin 2, pin 3, pin 4, pin 5. Pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That sh and um, again there's an, there's an additional piece of uh, paper that um, describes the e LED wiring. So that's roughly how, how the uh, wiring's actually performed. Now, how do we prevent that pesky letter E from showing up? Here we go. So here is our stencil. You'll notice that the stencil has the tabs already fitted. The tabs are fitted so that when the uh, frame, when, when the face sits on the clock, you can see that the tabs sit on the inside and that gives us somewhere to drill so that we end up with the um, face being, being, being mounted. So, that letter E. As you're aware, we need some sort of a, a diffuser material. I actually just use um, thin uh, tr tr tracing paper. So what I do is I place the sheet of material onto the face. I get a small piece of uh, tape just to secure it down. Down we go. Okay, then we using a ruler and a sharp knife pretty sure I'm in frame there I cut along here down to where the minutes LEDs are again sharp knives and fingers 40 years of experience tells me to be careful I assume that you're going, 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 going to be careful as well so there we go that's ready for a little bit more tape just to secure it. Beautiful. 
Now we come along this side here and we do this edge. I won't wo worry about that at the moment. This isn't actually for a production of hop, this is solely for the um, video, so that's okay. Uh, a little bit of tape down this edge here. There we go. And then lastly this edge here. And then all of the letters have a nice white diffuser mounted behind them. This white paper simply means that all of the LED light hits the paper, the paper illuminates and you get very even um, illumination. So there we go, there's our fourth. Sometimes it's not exactly flat, in which case it's not very, very hard to just lift gently and put it down with a little bit more care this time. Beautiful. Now, that pesky letter E. You can see there, I-T-E-I-S. I use, I literally use black electrical tape. So, um, I grab a little bit of this electrical, if I had fingernails this would be easy. There we go. So I just get a little bit of this black electrical tape cut squares that are approximately the size of the letters that I want blocked off. Where's that letter E? Oh, now you'll notice when, whenever I put the, um, the face down on something, it's always down on the silicon release paper. There's the letter E blocked off. We'll block off the letter F as well because it might illuminate with a little bit of sideways illumination. J, the J can get blocked off. Q U A R T E R. There's no LEDs further on that side. But hopefully now you can see the idea. So there's the X between the 20 and the 5. H A L F will block off the C. We'll block off the G. We'll block off the B. S E V E N will block off the L. A little bit more. Four, five, six, nine, eight, eleven, ten. Here we go. Do 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 do. P T E N P and Y. And then o'clock. So you can see that we've got the letters that we never ever ever want to appear are now blocked off. You'll notice that at the moment with it out in the open you can see that it's a little bit visible but the minute that we end up putting the frame, putting the um, face onto the frame, this one was a fail, I didn't like that. That's alright. So the minute that we end up lighting it up, turn the above light off. Hopefully that's still clear. Uh, my little power supply is not plugged in. In you go. In you go. Okay, so we go here. When we see that it is, it is gets illuminated by by itself. Now. See that 10? I didn't like the fact that that N di didn't light up particularly brightly, so I might move the LED strip that's actually inside here. Um, occasionally you'll need, as you're adjusting things, you'll need to potentially move strips just a little bit, just so that the illumination's even. Um, I'm working on a change to make it so that this is never, ever needed with this particular design of uh, clock again but that's still a few weeks or a few months out there we go now the tens a lot more even past seven one two three four five six nine twelve eight eleven ten and o'clock 
the four minute lights again the placement of the um, display is very important so so that we don't need and don't end up having any of these little uh, minute lights being obscured just a quick video I hope that that was helpful but there we go and that's a um, cast clock and I'll move the EDs across because that S should should be brighter too so there we go simple as that okay guys have a great uh, weekend